and I'm very fascinated with music. And when I was young, I you know, was a studio conductor for movies and television. So I was always around a studio with microphones. And you know, when you're in this environment, you got really interested. And I started getting more and more into technology, learning about this because I'm there. And what happened is this. So I would be on a podium conducting, and the orchestra would sound fantastic. But there would be about 50 microphones in the orchestra, and every microphone would be on an instrument. And when they mixed it, it just didn't sound right. It didn't have a cohesiveness that I would hear standing up on the conductor podium. And the reason is, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, if you put a trumpet next to your ear and the guy played it, it's not going to really sound that good. It's really meant for it to have this cohesive type of sound. So, you know, for years went by and years went by, and I decided, you know, with my brother Norman, my business partner, you know, maybe we'll start a record label. But I wanted to start a record label from a one point perspective where I stood on this podium and apply it to every genre of music that's acoustic. I mean, we can't do like uh, hip hop and things like that because they're created in a board. What we do is sort of like a black and white photographer. We document a moment in time, an image that is just exists. We want to capture real musicians in a real space. Now, how do we do this? I mean, it's all aesthetics. Look, it's a magic trick. There's two black boxes in a room. You press a button, and all of a sudden, sound comes out. And you think there's an orchestra there. So we want to recreate this image. So the reality is we don't have 55 sets of ears. We have two. So we started working with stereo microphone placement. And it would have two capsules. Each ear would represent a capsule. And this would be, we started off uh, with a C24 microphone, which is a bloom line microphone. We put it in the middle of the room and set the musicians around it. And we would capture realistically what happened in the event. And it's a very different style of recording because it's, it's, it's flying without, uh, it's like crossing a high wire without a net. It, it, that's what it is. There's no mixing. There's no adding echo, EQ. It's done. So we go into a really beautiful space. And we set up this microphone, put the musicians around it, and if you're playing too loud, we say, you have to move back, you're too quiet, you move forward, and we physically place people around. This is why we like to do jazz and classical music, because it has a natural balance. If we had to do, let's say, uh, Frank Sinatra with a big uh, band, it won't work, because the band's going to be louder than him. So this only works for certain types of music, acoustic music that balances you know, um, naturally. So we evolved and we evolved, and we had this really nice sound going because we had these two black boxes, and we can really create a beautiful stereo image. Okay? And then we evolved from there, and I wanted to get into other things like height and surround. So we started using a different type of microphone called a sound field microphone, and we would recreate a sound field in a room, but we had to have many speakers to play this back. So this is a really good technology, too, and it, it could be a future technology. But when you think about this, I'm talking to you in a real space. People are behind you. You clap your hands. It bounces all around you. These ears are very sophisticated instruments. These ears will auto-locate around your head because we have 100 million years of evolution that says we're in the forest. You hear a snap, and your ear says, uh-oh, 100 meters to the right over there. There's a bear. It's going to eat you. You better get your act together. And that is how sensitive our hearing is, where in movies, 24 frames a second, you get fooled. So we were making these records, and then I met uh, this professor at Princeton. We decided to team up. He's the head of the, the engineering physics lab, Dr. Edgar Schoeri. And we started to explore this type of recording binaural, because this recording has been around for a long time, but you couldn't play it back on speakers because of the equalization curve wouldn't work. It only works on headphones. But Edgar figured out a way to make a filter, diffuse field equalization filter, to make it work on speakers as well. So we started doing these binaural plus recordings, we call them, because we put a dummy head up. It's a head. It looks like this with a torso. And we put it in a chair in front of a band. And the band plays, and the head hears exactly like you hear. And not only does it hear like you hear, 
It hears height information. It hears depth down information. It hears behind you. It hears all around you like I am. If somebody coughs behind you in the last row, you're going to hear it. You feel like you're in a space. So when you listen to a stereo recording in a 60 degree triangle, it's sort of like we're a peeping Tom looking into somebody's house window. But now we're going to put you in someone's house. We put you in the exact space. It's virtual reality. So in theory, my children in a few years when they grow up, they're going to look at listening to two boxes like, you know, we look at those wind-up stereo 78s. They're going to want to be in the event. If the Berlin Philharmonic is playing, you can hit a button, and you're going to be in that space where you look around behind you, hear people coughing, you're there. And we have this ability to do it now in our laboratory, and we're about to try to make it into a commercial product. Because part of this product is Edgar's filter, the Bach filter, can cancel crosstalk between two speakers. See, w this is kind of how we hear. There's an orchestra over there. Guy hits a big bass drum. That bass drum is going to hit this ear, go around my nose, and hit the other ear. Two things are going to happen. The first thing is that the level on this ear is going to be louder than the level of this ear because it hits it first. And the time difference will be different because it first has to hit this ear, go around my nose, and then hit the other ear. And so the time difference. So our brains, by looking at these two things, figure out where everything is. Somebody coughs behind you because the sound comes around your ear, whatever. We can figure this out with these two things. So the problem is when you listen to a stereo recording on a pair of speakers, you can't get this even if the information is there. Why? Because it's called crosstalk corruption. What happens is our left ear hears the left speaker and the right speaker at the same time. Our right ear hears the left speaker and the right speaker at the same time. So the brain gets confused. It's all there and you can't see it. It's sort of like these optical illusions. It's sort of like going to see a 3D movie and taking your glasses off. That's why you can see 3D in the movie because those glasses cancel the crosstalk video visually and now we're learning to cancel the crosstalk in the audio domain. So by doing this, we can put you in a three-dimensional sound field and you are there. So it's the combination of this dummy head with the two ears and canceling the crosstalk that if you came to our laboratory, you're in the space. People are around you, it's like, the, and it's only two speakers because all this information has been there, but you cannot hear it, you just cannot do it. And while you're here, you should go online and you should look at this um, YouTube video called the McGurk Effect. And it's an example of how our brains cannot decipher things even if we know they're true. The McGurk Effect works like this. There's a guy and he's saying the word ba, 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 ba. And then he says the word va, va, va with a V. And then he goes back to ba. But what happens is they superimpose the word ba while he's saying va. But since our eyes overrule our auditory system, even though the word ba is coming out, you'll bet your life that he's saying va because your eye sees ba and that's it. The ears are like sent away and say, it doesn't matter what you think ears, you have no say in this issue. And you can watch this McGurk effect 10,000 times and you will never be able to do it because we are hardwired as human beings to perceive our surroundings like this. Getting back to my story, I have two companies and what happened is after I became the conductor, we started Chesky Records from the one mic perspective. It grew, and then as record stores started closing down, we didn't have a delivery mechanism to get the high-res files to people, so I came up with the idea of doing high-resolution downloads, and that's when we started our company, HD Track, seven or eight years ago. And we're the world's largest, you know, supplier of high resolution downloads, not only Chesky Records, but all major labels and all major artists. Okay, so let's take a listen.
Now this is a choir all around you. They're standing all around you. So do you really feel that you're surrounded, right? Do you hear it in front, around? You just feel enveloped, right? Of course. Okay, so that's what we can do. Let's do the next. You can run the next. But if you want to download these files, if you go to hdtracks.com, there's a section of binaural recordings, and we have them all there. All the Chesky binaurals are on hdtracks.com. And you can sample some, and you can download them in any resolution you want, from 192.24, 96.24, or 44.24. We have all those formats you know, for your devices at home. And like I said, for me, I feel this is the future of audio. Binaural with crosstalk cancellation is the future for the house because we can put you in a three-dimensional sound field. And I think binaural with headphones is the future because the sound is not coming from your head. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, b &H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.